What's good? Welcome to Ari Roars. This is Ari speaking. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite things, which is establishing a daily routine. I have a consistent daily routine that I love so much and has transformed my life. Honestly, I kid you not, if I were to upload a video, like a vlog of my morning routine, people would say I'm lying because I've seen it happen before where there's someone who has like a 5 a.m. morning routine and they do these specific things every single morning and people comment like, there's no way you're really doing this every day and claiming that it's a lie. And it's not, for me at least, I can't speak for everyone, but there is a way to actually establish a morning routine, waking up at whatever time you want to and being consistent at it, but it doesn't happen overnight. In this video, I'm gonna help you to break down all the things that should be in your morning routine and how you can establish it and make it a consistent part of your life and transform your life through that. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. So for starters, you're gonna to wanna to set it up by looking at your long-term goals, looking at the things you already do and then piecing it together. So what does that look like? So with your goals, you wanna look at not only long-term, but also those medium-term goals. Let's say you wanna see yourself three months from now and you wanna see yourself one year from now. What are the habits that you need to have in order to move closer to that version of yourself. What things do you want to see happen differently in your life? What things do you want to experience differently in your life? What things do you want to be better at doing? What things do you want to get up off the ground? Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to get your body in a certain condition, get that summer body. I don't know, that, that's a very common thing to say. So, <laughs> summer body. Whatever your vision is for yourself in the future, I want you to take that and break it down into daily goals and habits that you can achieve on a smaller scale to help you move towards that. Sorry if you're hearing birds out the window. I mean, I guess I shouldn't apologize. They're kind of awesome, right? And then on top of that, you want to look at what you already have as a part of your routine. What are the things that you have to do? What are the things that you always do? Anything that's consistently a part of your regimen or what you tend to do regularly every day, every couple days, every week. and Consider all those things. I'm talking about going to work, taking a shower, walking the dog, um, all those kinds of things, studying, anything that you always do, even if it's watching Netflix, you know, if you want to like stream things before bed, you want to take account of everything that you consistently put your time towards on a daily or regular basis. And with those things, considering your goals as well and who you see yourself as in the future, Think of which you need to add more time to or transform in the way that you do it. Think of the things that you need to pull back from doing so much, do less of, spend less time doing. And it's also important to have free time. So I'm not telling you if you watch Netflix at night, stop watching Netflix. I'm just saying if you binge a whole series before bed and you over, I was going to say oversleep. Well, I guess maybe if you oversleep for work because you just didn't go to sleep early enough, then that's probably something you should do less of. Maybe you can just say, I'll watch two or three episodes per night. Segwaying from that, you want to take all of those habits, the ones you wanna implement, the ones you're already doing, and piece them together like a puzzle in your day. Block out time for everything, including when you sleep, how long do you need to sleep? What time do you need to wake up in order to get everything done that you wanna get done? I like to use Google calendars because you have this visual like time blocking thing. So if you really want to have like a nice visual about all the things that you're going to do and help you to like easily um, shift the lengths of time for everything, Google calendars would be really good for that. And try to be really realistic about how much time it takes to do these things while you are creating it. So for example, if you think you could take a 15 minute shower and you block out 15 minutes, you might not be considering how long you usually take after the shower or the fact that you like to dance in the mirror or whatever, that maybe it's just me. <laughs> I have to factor in the fact that I'm probably going to do more than just take a shower. I may take an extra long time putting on lotion. Just be a little more generous with the amount of time you allocate to different things instead of trying to squeeze everything in. And from there, you want to go ahead and take a realistic assessment of the schedule that you just created, the routine that you just established. Ask yourself, is it actually good for me? Like, is this too much? <laughs> Am I trying to pile on too many different things to do in a day? Way more things than a human could actually do without like 
ignoring the rest of the world? Or is it not enough? Do you have so much free time that you feel like you might lose focus and that you're not dedicating enough of yourself to the goals that you have, dedicating enough of yourself to the plans that you're trying to move forward with? Take this opportunity to make adjustments. Maybe there's a workout routine that you're doing or you are planning on doing, but you might have been dedicating like two hours a day to it and you don't really think that you can actually do that. Or like you would ever actually want to put two hours of workout time every day in. So you would just adjust that, make it one hour or whatever. Or maybe you do like 30 minute workouts, but you're like, I'm not really gonna see my goals in the time frame that I want to see it, so I have to extend that. And then next, does it help? Is it actually bringing you to a place of progression and moving you forward with your goals? If you're a student and you are taking very rigorous courses, but you only have one hour worth of study time in your schedule per day, I mean, an hour is gonna help for sure. It's more than I did most of the time when I was in college. But if you're like in med school or something, you might need like four hours a day, six hours a day. I don't know, way more time than me, way more, way more time than one hour. So make sure that the things that you're putting on your schedule, you know, that you have it established in a way that is going to help you actually see progress and that it's going to help your life become easier. Like for me, one thing that I like to have in my schedule, well, actually, I haven't really been like strict about my cleaning except for like the kitchen but it's really helpful to know when you're going to clean every part of the house because that helps you not have to have one big cleaning day that's stressful and you're just sweating and tired and you know or the home is just really dirty and you get stressed every time someone comes by or you know you want to make sure that you have these things allocated or you know your everything shower day ladies y'all know what i'm talking about <laughs> If the days when you want to wash your hair, you want to shave your legs, shave anything, you know what I mean? You want to make sure that you know when you're going to do all these things for your self-maintenance, for your home maintenance, for your kids, for your pets, whatever. You want to make sure that you have all those things established in your routine. And that's why it can be a daily routine. It can be a weekly routine as well and even monthly, um, different layers to that so that you know you know you don't have to worry about when you're going to do these things and it's one less thing to think about or plan out. And lastly, I kind of touched on this already, but the time management, is the time allocated properly? Is your schedule balanced? You want to have time for everything. Like even if you're a spiritual person or, or you're um, in the faith, let's say I'll speak for myself. I always have to start my day in my word and in prayer. I have to make sure that the first hour of my day goes to that. If I don't dedicate one hour to it, I'll feel like I'm missing out um, on my connection and really being able to apply myself in the best way. And especially reading the Bible is just a different thing. You know, I would there would be times when I'm like not actually factoring in reading the Bible in a part of my day. And so I would just do it whenever I think about it or I'm like, hmm, I forgot to read today. Let me just read a verse real quick. And it wasn't really a priority enough for me. So I had to make sure that I was allocating specific time for it and more time than like certain things that weren't as important, you know. Then on the contrary, you know, you might spend so much time working on the business that you're trying to plan that you are like, I'm not even going to allocate any time for free time. I'm not going to leave any open time where I can spend time with friends and loved ones. And then you're overworking yourself with the schedule. You need to make sure that there's some open space open time that you can actually enjoy yourself and just rest relax and like stretch out or whatever <laughs> so now we've come to the point where you know it gets a little bit tricky this is the point where people are like yeah i did all that and it didn't work and the reason that it doesn't work is because you created this schedule you created this plan you created this whole new life and you tried to just jump straight into it and just make it your reality all in one day. And I'm the type of person that does that. I, I get really excited, get really like manic, and I really think that I want to do things like right now and try to execute it. And I can do it for like three whole days. <laughs> this reminds me of the video I made about motivation. You should check that out. It goes hand in hand with this one. But you can't really just jump into it. You can, but you're probably going to drive yourself crazy. And then that's the type of behavior that makes people believe that having these types of routines is unrealistic. 
it's very much realistic if you do it piece by piece, day by day. You have to start small. This requires discipline and discipline requires patience. Discipline is not an overnight thing. It's something that's annoying every step of the way until finally you love doing it. So you're going to have to push back resistance. That looks like a couple of different things. The one relating to discipline is that you just deny yourself every time. This happens to me still as I'm working out. Like every time when I'm about to work out, I'm like, I really don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. Like I just don't feel like it. I don't, I just, I'm not interested in it. And I encourage myself by saying, because I don't want to do it, that means I should do it. That means it's going to change me in my heart in a, in a positive way. I know that that's not enough for most people. Like I, I know that that's kind of based in my spiritual foundation and everyone needs their own kind of motivation. But I think that one really important piece about it is that it always relates back to your heart. So whatever it is you're having a hard time committing to doing day after day, you're going to have to check your heart around that thing. What is the mindset that you have around it? What is the relationship that you have with it? What are the, the limiting beliefs that you have that are preventing you from appreciating doing this thing every day? If you're afraid to commit to something, you're probably afraid of failing at it. You're afraid of being hurt by it. You're afraid that for, in some way it's not going to work out. So really check your heart about what this action or habit means to you. And it may in fact be that you just don't like it and it just doesn't really benefit you in a rewarding enough way. And in that case, you might need to step back and like revise your schedule and routine. Like for example, morning pages, I heard about people journaling morning pages. They just write three pages in their journal every single morning. And I tried that. I kind of hated it. <laughs> it was like most of the time I was just jibber jabbering and I know it helps people to clear their minds, but that's not what I needed. You know, I needed to talk to God. So um, people have their different things. Like instead of doing morning pages, I have my faith and my spiritual um, connection. So make sure that you have your thing and don't try to adopt other people's ideas to make your own routine when you're your own, when you are your own person. There we go. And once you can work your way through those limitations, those limiting beliefs, and everything that's in your heart that's been preventing you from actually stepping into all of your goals and like pushing towards your desires and everything that the future has for you, you can start building on that. So let me just take a step back. As I said, you want to do small changes. Start with small baby steps. If you actually do want to do like a two-hour workout per day, and you don't work out at all right now, do not jump into two hours of workout per day, please. Start with 45 minutes, an hour maybe, or do two hours every other day. Then you can build on it after you've already established the majority of your entire daily routine. And you wanna make sure that your entire daily routine is like a, a small scale, like a light version of the ultimate dream routine that you have. Like for example, for me, I used to do 30 minutes of vocal exercise every day, and now I do an hour every day. So I did 30 minutes for like six months. You don't have to do it for that long. You know what I'm saying? Whatever time frame it requires for you to feel like I can do more or I like doing this now and I want to commit more of myself to it, at that time you would make the switch to increase something and you can continue doing that in every area until you get your whole schedule increased to like the maximum capacity that you have. And it's not going to feel like a burden when you already have the um, undercurrent of, I already do these things. Now I'm just amping it up. You don't want to have that, okay, I'm starting from here, and then I'm starting from here in this area, and I'm all, all these things I'm starting from like the top level. You want to start some things from the bottom and move them up gradually until, <laughs> you know. So I hope that makes sense for y'all. And I hope this video has been very beneficial for you because that's it. That's all I got for you. If you liked it, then like it and I'll see you next time. Bye.